So just in, we got some awesome breaking news from SnapAR live from the AWE, the Augmented World Expo exhibition. And they seemingly announced a new lightweight AR glasses, AR and AI glasses, which will be coming to the public in 2026. So probably you guys already know that Snapchat had um, published their spectacles, which was only for developers and kind of only some renting model uh, with a pretty impressive lightweight AR glasses already that I tested out a few months ago. I also did a video on that. And the resonance to that was already pretty amazing. And I got to say also from my experience, these spectacles are one of the most advanced AR glasses that I've ever seen and tested. And so it's very awesome that now they've finally someone announced a new lightweight AR glass. So let's quickly read on what they stated here. So pretty much just some uh, background information. They spent 11 years. Yeah, they were pretty early actually with their Lens Studio. That's why it's also so sophisticated on buildings, AR filters and kind of they were one of the first companies, I guess, to incorporate AR into their product much more than than other companies. And uh, 3 billion, well, that's uh, only a little fraction of what Meta already invested, but still what they managed to build is amazing for, for that money, uh, especially. Um, so they call them specs and probably some, again, ultra powerful. Uh, well, let's see how powerful it will be in the end, but lightweight pair of glasses with see-through lenses. And this is amazing. I mean, there are other XR headsets on the market, which also do augmented reality. But then you still got this gigantic face computer on your head, which still doesn't feel really social. And so having something that is more towards a sun, leans more towards a sunglass or uh, sunglasses would be pretty amazing. And so they want to include advanced machine learning and bring AI assistance into three dimensional space, which is also pretty amazing. I also did a video on augmented intelligence and augmented cognition, uh, which kind of combines uh, the uh, amazing and uh, magical 3D elements in your space with also a lot of understanding and kind of making you smarter in a sense. And um, yeah, just some background information. They want to make technology feel more human, which is definitely great when you have just a normal, you know, pair of glasses uh, on your face. Uh, this is pretty good. And then, um, yeah, some, some, uh, so they don't really give some preview here of what it will look like, but they do actually, yeah, they show some samples of already existing applications like some cooking or also learning to play the drums. And there also were some examples I knew which kind of showed uh, how to play basketball and then kind of give, gave you a rating and some instructions on how to shoot. Um, and then they, but then they also talk a bit about some pretty uh, substantial updates to SnapOS, which is what these spectacles are currently uh, running. And so they have deeper integration with OpenAI and Gemini, which is pretty cool. Um, so more integration with AI, um, and then um, also a 3D API, which is cool. So um, object generation generation. Um, which is pretty nice. Um, Real-time transcription of language. This will also be super helpful if you're somewhere on holidays or on a vacation um, and, and will make it much easier to kind of communicate with the locals, I guess. So yeah, and then some other stuff as well. For example, guided navigation, fleet management. This is probably pretty cool if you have some kind of company, right? And then you uh, want to give out specs or something and want to use them maybe even for industrial purposes or so. And they'll also integrate Niantic Spatial VPS, which is pretty great. So their virtual positioning system. I actually did a tutorial on that uh, for Unity and Lightship in the past. And very, very big WebXR support. This is amazing. WebXR is pretty great. It will basically transform any website into a augmented reality experience. So amazing news. I'm totally stoked and interested in how this specs will actually look, how much it costs. This will be a pretty big point because if it's kind of obtainable, I'll definitely be a day one uh, user. But if it will be like 3000, whatever, or even maybe $2,000, then it'll be pretty, pretty tough sell, I guess. 
But still, I don't know. It's it's an amazing time. And who knew that actually Snap were the first one to actually announce such glasses. I mean, we have the uh, Google Smart glasses and whatnot that they announced, but there's no real launch date for that. And they also usually don't really have like AR maybe just some overlay of a display. So this is pretty exciting news and hopefully I'll do a lot more videos on the new uh, specs. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that amazing breaking news with you all. And until then, see you next time and thanks for watching.